Brothers, Doctor, and for today ay uh, tuturuan ko naman kayo kung paano tayo mag-convert ng ating mga standard form ng quadratic equation into its vertex form para makuha natin yung quick sketch ng ating parabola. So sa pag-solve ng ating mga quadratic equations, pakukuha natin ito by factoring, completing the square, or using the quadratic formula. At nung nakaraang lesson, ay tinuruan ko kayo kung paano tayo mag-sketch ng ating parabola gamit ang ating uh, vertex at ang solutions ng ating quadratic equations. At yan yung ating uh, gagawin ngayong araw na ito, pero this time, bibigyan ko kayo ng panibagong technique on how to uh, draw the quick sketch of our parabola using its vertex form. So, for a quick recap nung ating uh, sketch ng ating parabola using the vertex and the solution, kung meron tayong x squared plus 2x minus 15 na kung saan nasa standard form ng ating quadratic equation, makukuha natin yung solutions by setting our quadratic equation to 0. So, yung ating x squared plus 2x minus 15 equal to 0 ay pwede na natin ngayon isolve by factoring, completing the square, or quadratic formula. But since this is factorable at alam natin ng ating mga factors ng negative 15 na kapag inad natin will equal to 2, pwede natin itong i-modify into x plus 5 times x minus 3. And by doing so, using the zero product property, ay makukuha na natin yung solutions. At ang zero product property ay kung saan i-equate natin si x plus 5 sa 0 at si x minus 3 equal to 0. So forgive me, doon sa aking little error, doon sa aking... Uh, x minus 5 is supposed to be x minus 3, pero alam natin ang solutions natin would be at x equal to negative 5 and x is equal to 3. Ayan. So, na-save ko yung ating solutions. So, pagkuha ng solutions by factoring, make sure na na-factor nyo siya ng tama at ginamitan nyo siya ng zero product property. At since meron na tayong solutions, which is also the x-intercept ng ating parabola sa ating graph, Kukunin naman natin ngayon yung tip ng ating parabola or yung vertex. And to do that, yung formula natin ay x equals negative b all over 2a plus, I mean, yung ating y coordinate naman ay isa-substitute natin yung ating makukuhang x doon sa ating original function para makuha natin yung other half ng ating vertex. So yung first half ng ating vertex, which is yung ating x coordinate, makukuha natin yan by setting a as 1 b as 2, at yung c ay negative 15, na hindi naman natin gagamitin sa formula na ito. So, ang ating x-coordinate would be negative 2 all over 2 times 1, which is equal to negative 1, at ito rin yung ating axis of symmetry na tinatawag sa ating parabola. So, kailangan na lang natin kunin yung other half by plugging in the value of negative 1 sa ating quadratic equation. So, meron tayo ngayong y is equal to negative 1 minus 2 minus 15. Using left to right technique, ang y natin is equal to negative 16. So, ang vertex natin ay negative 1 and negative 16. So, ang quick sketch nyan would be negative 1 and negative 16 is going to be... Um, in our third quadrant, so ang ating parabola ay opening upward dahil ang quadratic term natin ay positive. So ito ngayon, yung graph ng ating quadratic equation using yung ating solution at yung ating vertex. Now, ngayon naman ay tuturan ko kayo ng panibagong technique on how to draw the quick sketch of our parabola from standard form, which is ax squared plus bx plus c, into its vertex form na kung saan ang vertex form ay a quantity x minus h squared plus k at ang ating vertex ay yung ating h and k. So to do this, we'll of course have our first example. So ang ating example na yan, so quadratic equation pa rin yan, pero hindi siya sa standard form. Ito ay nasa vertex form. So ang ating quantity x minus 1 squared plus 1 ay pwede nating mag-graph using its vertex dahil ang pagkuhan ng vertex gamit yung formula ay opposite of h and k will produce the vertex of our parabola. So again, opposite of h and k. Bakit ko sinasabing opposite? Dahil sa ating equation, meron tayong negative 1, which is yung ating h, at yung ating k ay 1. So ang vertex natin ngayon ay opposite of negative 1, 
and 1. So, ang vertex ay magpa-fall sa 1, 1 or first quadrant dahil ito yung ating formula sa pagkuha ng vertex given the vertex form of our quadratic equation. So, to draw the quick sketch, nasa first quadrant siya dahil ang vertex natin ay nasa 1, 1. So, ang vertex natin ay nandirito sa 1 and 1 and our parabola is opening upward dahil ang ating quadratic term ay positive. So, yan ngayon yung quick sketch natin using the vertex form of the parabola. Again, sa pagkuha ng vertex, opposite of h and k. At ulit-ulitin natin yan sa utak natin para hindi tayo malito at magkamali sa pagpili ng tamang coordinate ng ating vertex. So, let's see kung mapipili natin ng tama ang ating coordinate ng vertex sa problem number 2. Meron tayong new equation which is negative quantity x minus 1 squared plus 1. So, nasa vertex form siya ng ating parabola. So, that means ang h and k ay madali natin mapipili dahil opposite of negative 1 and 1 ang ating vertex, which is makikita ninyo ay parehas ng vertex ng nauna nating example. Pero meron tayong difference at yan yung ating value ng a or coefficient ng ating Square. So, ang ating a ay represented by negative 1. So, that means kung isi-sketch natin yung ating parabola, given the vertex at 1, 1, ang ating parabola this time will open downwards dahil ang ating a or ang value ng ating coefficient ay negative. So, yan yung ating quick sketch using the vertex form. Again, opposite of h and k to find the vertex of our parabola in this form. So, kung meron tayo ngayong third example, so ngayon, I'm sure na develop niyo na yung inyong confidence sa pagpili ng vertex na hindi kayo nalilito. So, tingnan natin kung tama ang pagpili ninyo ng coordinate natin sa x plus 2 squared or quantity x plus 2 squared minus 3. Again, sabay-sabay. Opposite of h and k. So, opposite of positive 2 is negative 2 and k is negative 3. So, ang ating vertex ay negative 2 and negative 3. So, that means if we're going to sketch the graph of our quadratic equation, negative 2 and negative 3 will fall on the third quadrant. So, ito yung ating point. At ang ating parabola will open upwards dahil lang a natin ay positive 1. At ngayon, meron na tayong quick sketch ng ating parabola without finding the solutions and the vertex of our parabola using a formula which is x equals negative b all over 2a. So this time naman, sa ating fourth quadratic equation, which is the heart of our video lesson for today, paano naman kung ang ating equation ay nasa standard form, which is x squared minus 6x plus 13, paano natin siya i-convert into its vertex form para makuha natin yung vertex natin with this new technique. So to convert ax squared plus bx plus c into its vertex form, which is a quantity x minus h squared plus k, kakailanganin natin gamitin ang completing the square technique. And to be able to do that, kailangan nyo lang... Uh, uh, I-review yung ating uh, method of completing the square. Meron tayong mga video lessons dyan na pwede nyo uh, panoorin. As a description box below, yung ating mga completing the square technique. At uh, kailangan natin yan para ma-modify natin yung ating x squared minus 6x plus 13 para magmukha siyang a quantity x minus h squared plus k. So, ganito tayo mag-complete ng square. So, madali lang ito. Kailangan lang natin... Uh, ilipat yung ating constant term on the left-hand side or right-hand side of our uh, equation. So, we subtract 13 on both sides. So, magkakaroon tayo ngayon ng x squared minus 6x plus a box. So, yan yung ating space holder para sa ating uh, uh, perfect square trinomial equal to negative 13 plus a box. So, bakit ko siya nilagyan ng box? Dahil pupunuan natin yung box na yan with our magic number. So, ano yung magic number na yan? Hindi naman siya sobrang magic dahil kailangan lang natin kunin yung half ng middle term and then is-square natin siya pagkatapos paano makabuo tayo ng perfect square trinomial. So, by doing this method, we are not changing the value of our quadratic equation. We are merely 
converting or modifying, not converting, modifying our quadratic equation para tumugma siya sa ating vertex form. So, yung ating half of 6 ay 3, and then 3 squared is equal to 9. So, mag add tayo ng 9 on both sides of the equation para makabuo tayo ng perfect square trinomial. So, ang perfect square trinomial is, ang example niyan, is x squared minus 6x plus 9. Bakit siya naging perfect square trinomial? I-discuss natin yan sa pag natin ng ating equation. So, let's focus on x squared minus 6x plus 9, which is in this form, x squared minus 6x plus 9. So, yan ang tinatawag natin PST or perfect square trinomial dahil ang factors ng 9 na magbibigay sa atin ng negative, negative 6 kapag in natin siya would be both negative 3. So, x minus 3 times x minus 3 is the factored form of our x squared minus 6x plus 9, which is equal to negative 4, dahil negative 13 plus 9 is equal to negative 4. At mapapansin nyo na lumalapit na tayo sa ating vertex form dahil since identical ang ating binomial, pwede natin siyang simplify into quantity x minus 3 squared equal to negative 4. At by adding 4 on both sides, meron na tayong vertex form ng ating quadratic equation which is x minus 3 squared plus 4 equal to y. Now, tandaan natin na itong factored form na x minus 3 squared plus 4 ay parehas lamang ng x squared minus x plus 13. Minodify lang natin siya para makuha natin yung vertex. And to find the vertex, it's going to be opposite of h and k. So meron tayo ngayong opposite of negative 3 which is which is positive 3 and 4 as our vertex. So lumabas na yung ating vertex kanina. So yan yung clue natin kanina na Hinahanap natin vertex ay 3 and 4. So, dahil ready na tayo sa ating coordinate ng ating vertex, i-plot na natin yung point na yan, which is at 4 or 3 and 4, nasa first quadrant, at ang ating parabola will open upward dahil ang quadratic term natin ay positive at ang value ng A natin ay positive 1. So, ito ngayon yung quick sketch ng graph natin. By converting our standard form into its vertex, Form. So, yan yung isa sa mga techniques na kailangan natin matutunan sa pag-solve ng mga quadratic equations. So, tingnan naman natin ngayon kung paano natin i-apply yan by computing it manually. So, ito ang ating handy-dandy whiteboard para i-perform ang completing the square technique for this particular example. So, meron tayong y equals x squared plus 4x plus 5. So, what we're going to do is equate it to 0, x squared plus 4x plus 5 equal to 0, at simulan ang paghanap ng perfect square trinomial para makomplete natin yung ating square. So, minus 5 on both sides. So, meron na tayo ngayong mga boxes dyan, at ang number in the box, ang ating magic number, would be found using the formula half of 4 squared. Ang half of 4 ay 2. 2 squared is equal to 4. So, ang magic number natin ay 4. So, that means meron tayo ngayong x squared plus 4x plus 4 equal to negative 5 plus 4. And we know na pwede natin i-factor out itong ating trinomial. Ang factors ng 4 na, that will give us 4 when we add them up would be positive 2. So, ang ating factored form ay x plus 2, x plus 2, equal to negative 5 plus 4 is negative 1. At si simplify natin to para magkaroon tayo na square of binomial na x plus 2 quantity square equal to negative 1. And by equating it to 0, add 1 tayo on both sides. So ang ating new equation will now look like the vertex form of our parabola or quadratic equation at x plus 2 quantity squared plus 1 equals 0 or equal to y dahil ito yung function natin. So, ang ating vertex ngayon ay at opposite of 2 and k. So, ang ating vertex will be at negative 2 and 1. So, tingnan nga natin kung tama ang mga pinaggagawa natin dito sa ating equation. So, ang ating factored form will represent 
will be represented by this equation right here. So, tingnan natin kung yan ang ating factored form na kinonvert natin si ax squared plus bx plus c. So, y is equal to quantity x plus 2 squared plus 1. So, malaking check tayo dito. At ang ating vertex ay opposite of h and k. So, we have negative 2 and positive 1 at negative 2 at positive 1 ng ating vertex at Kung gusto natin kunin yung ating quick sketch ng ating parabola, kasi yun naman ang dahilan kung bakit natin ito kinoconvert, pwede natin niyang i-convert at i-sketch dahil meron na tayong vertex form ng quadratic equation. So, labas ulit tayo dyan at ituloy-tuloy natin ang kwentuhan dahil ang vertex natin is at negative 2 and 1 at ang ating quick sketch is negative 2, negative 2, and positive 1, positive 1. So, nandito sa second quadrant ang ating vertex. And our equation will go up or ang parabola will be going upward. Uy, nalasing na naman ang aking parabola. So, yan ang ating parabola, ang quick sketch ng x squared plus 4x plus 5 given our vertex. At kung titingnan natin yung ating graph, bada beam, bada boom. Parehas lang siya ng ating graph dahil yan naman talaga ang lesson natin for today na kinakailangan lang nating ma-alala, ma maramdaman, <laughs> ma-review yung ating uh, completing the square technique. So, kailangan niya yung uh, special skill na yan, completing the square method, para ma-solve natin yung ating or ma-convert natin yung ating standard form ng ating quadratic equation into its vertex form. So, ang ating number bender challenge for today, sino-sino ba ang mga kakasa sa ating challenge for today? Hanapin natin ang modified version ng ating standard form na x squared plus 10x plus 27 by changing it into its vertex form para makuha natin yung vertex ng ating parabola. So, comment it down below kung masasolve ninyo ang ating uh, equation for the day at yan ang ating lesson ngayong araw na ito kung paano tayo mag-convert ng ating standard form ng quadratic equation into its vertex form at lagi nating tandaan na kapag ka ginamit natin or napaltan natin yung ating standard form into quadratic form Minomodify lang natin yung itsura ng ating quadratic equation pero yung value niya ay parehas lamang. Dahil sa mathematics, kailangan natin matutunan yung iba't ibang paraan kung paano tayo mag-convert ng mga equations tulad ng ginawa natin ngayong araw na ito. So this is Dr. E and see you again next time. Bye!